know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. You know I came through with the fuego. You know I came through. Hey, you know I came through. Nowadays, I cannot lay low. I cannot lay low. Hi class, welcome to our business math subject and this this is our first lecture. So for today's video lesson, we will learn about fractions, decimals, and percents. And the learning competencies for today. So first one, express fractions to decimal and percent forms. Then... Express decimals to fractions and percent forms. And then, express per percent to fractions and decimal forms. And then, give real-life situations to illustrate fractions, decimals, and percent. And last one is solve problems involving fractions, decimals, and percent. Let's have some warm-up warm first. So write each fraction in the simplest form. I will give you 3 seconds to answer. Or you may pause the video. Then try to answer it. For number 1, 4 over 10. Okay, so the answer is 2 pif. For number 2, 8 over 50. The answer is 4 over 25. For number 3, 75 over 100. Okay, the answer is 3 fourth. For number 4, 12 over 36. The answer is 1 third. For number 5, 9 over 15. The answer is 3 fifth. For number 6, 18 over 48. The answer is 3 over 8. So let's have this problem because the students at CMRHS are collecting cans of food for the local food bank. Their goal is to collect 2,000 cans in one month. After 10 days, they have 800 cans of food. What percent of their goal have they reached? So they obtained 800 out of 2,000. And that is 2 pip in fraction. And in decimal, it is 0.4. Or in percent, it is 40%. The number line showed that the students have reached 40% of their goal. Okay, so percentage, for example, 1% means 1 part per 100. Or in fraction, it is 1 over 100. And in decimal, it is equivalent to 0 0.01. Another one. 25% means 25 parts per head, per hundred rather. Or 25 over 100. And that is one fourth in fraction or 0.25 in percent 
100% means 100 parts per 100. Or 100 over 100 in fraction. Or 1. Okay, so what is percent? A percent is the ratio of a number to 100. The symbol percent is used to, to indicate that a number is a percent. For example, 40 percent is the ratio 40 to 100 or 40 over 100. Percents can be written as fractions or decimals. So the word percent means per hundred. So 40 percent means 40 out of 100. Example in writing percents as fractions. Write 88 percent as a fraction in simplest form. So first step. Write the percent as a fraction with a denominator of 100. And then simplify. And that is equal to 22 over 25. Okay, can you try this one? Write 45% as a fraction in simplest form. So, first step, write the percent as a fraction with a denominator of 100. Then, simplify. And that is equal to 9 over 20. Example 2, writing percents as decimal. Write 51% as a decimal. So, first step, Write the, write the percent as a fraction with a denominator of 100. And then, divide 51 by 100 or use your calculator to obtain the answer and you will get 0.51. Okay, can you try this? Write 67% as a decimal. So, first step, write the, write the percent as a fraction with a denominator of 100. And that is equal to 0.67 in decimal. Notice that both 43% and 0.43 mean 43 hundredths. Another way to write a percent as a decimal is to delete the percent sign and move the decimal point two places to the left. Remove the percentage sign and then move the des two decimal place to the left. Okay? Next, writing decimal as percent. Write each decimal as a percent. So, for this, we have 0 0.08. To express it to percent, we will just multiply by 100. So, 0 0.08 is equal to 8%. Next, for letter B, 0 0.7. So, we will just multiply it by 100. And that is equal to 70%. So, let's try this. 0 0.01 Okay, that's equal to 1%. Just multiply it by 100. How about 0.1? Okay, the answer is 10%. We just multiply it by 100. Both 0 0.07 and 7% 7 mean 7 hundreds. 
you can write a decimal as a percent by, by moving the decimal point to two places to the right and adding the percent sign. So, for example, we have 0 0.07. Ayan. Move two decimals to the right and then write the percent sign. Okay? Example 4. Writing fractions as decimals. Write fraction as a percent. 3 over 5. You can press it in your calculator or do this way if you don't have a calculator. So, 3 over 5, we multiply 3 by 20 and multiply 5 by 20. Why did we do that? So that the denominator will be equal to 100. And then, simplify. So, 3 times 20, that is equal to 60. Over 5 times 20, that is equal to 100. Then, write the fraction as percent. And that is equal to 60%. But note class that this method shown in example 4 works only if the given denominator is a factor or multiple of 100. Another example, write each fraction as a percent, 7 over 40. Notice that the denominator is not a multiple of 100. So, we will use division to write a fraction as a decimal. So, 7 divided by 40, you can use your calculator to process this. And then, you will get 0 0.175. Then, write the decimal as a percent. Just multiply it by 100 or move two decimal places to the right. And note that the method shown in, in this example works for any kind of denominator. Can you try this? Three, write each fraction as a percent. 3 over 4. Okay, so the answer is 75%. So, how did we do that? We just, since 4 is a multiple of 100, so to make the denominator equal to 100, we will just multiply by 25 the numerator and the denominator. So, simplifying... 3 times 25 over 4 times 25 and that is equal to 75 over 100 or 75%. Another one. Write each fraction as a percent. 9 over 60. So, 9 divided by 60 in this case, since 60 is not a multiple of 100, we can use division to write the fraction as decimal. So, 9 divided by 60 and that is equal to 0.15. Okay, so that is 15%. Okay, can you try this one, class? You can pause the video and then answer it. You get a piece of paper so that you can practice. 
and in 5 seconds or 6 seconds, I will reveal the answer. Okay, so the answer is 2 over 5. How about number 2? Okay, that is equal to 65%. How about number 3? Okay, and that is equal to 0.72%. How about number 4? Okay, and that is equal to 60%. How about number 5? About 95% of all animals are insects. Express this percent as a fraction. Okay, that's equal to 19 over 20. Okay, if you have some more, if you want some more practice, you can answer this, get a, get a notebook or a sheet of paper and pause the video and answer this. You may use calculator class in answering this. I am, okay, I am allowing you to use the calculator so that you will be familiar in using a scientific calculator. Okay, so the answer is this one. Check your answers. Okay. Then if you want some more exercise, you can answer this. Change each of the percentages. 2 letter A fraction, D decimal, okay, and this one, change this fraction to percentage using your knowledge to equivalent, of equivalent fractions, okay, so in few seconds, I will reveal the answer, you can pa pause the video, and then later, check your answers. Okay, so these are the answers. Okay, moving on. So now we are in the application of what we have learned about converting decimal into fraction, fraction to decimal, decimal to percent, fraction to percent okay and vice versa so the first application is finding the part a percent word problem has three values the base b or whole the rate r or percent and the part p find for example, the problem can be stated as follows. Find 20% of 60. Or what is 20% of 60? Or 20% of 60 is what number? In this type of problems, you are given the base and the rate and are asked to find the part. Use the formula part equals rate times base so be sure to change the percent to a decimal or fraction before multiplying okay for example one four is what percent of 20 of 20 so let's identify first the given four is the part 
and P is the B's. So, what is us in the problem? Okay, so we're asking for to find the rate. And then, substitute to the formula, R equals P over B. So, P is 4 and B is 20. So, using your calculator, simplify it. 4 over 20. So, the answer is 0 0.2. So, multiply by 100 or move two decimal places to the right. So, that is equal to 20%. So, 4 is 20% of 20. Okay, next, example number two. Five is 25% of what number? So, let's identify first the given. So, five is the part. And 25 is the rate. So, we are asked, what is us in the problem? So, we are asked to find the number or the base. And since from the formula, we have R equals P over B. So, to find for B, we just cross multiply. So, we will get B equals P over R. So, substituting the value, we have 5 over rate is 25% or changing, we have to change that in decimal. And that is equal to 20. Okay? So, 5 is 25% of 20. For example 1, 4 is what percent of 20? Of 20. So, let's identify first the given. 4 is the part and P is the base. So, what is us in the problem? Okay, so we're asking for to find the rate and then substitute to the formula R equals P over B. So, P is 4 and B is 20. So, using your calculator, simplify it. 4 over 20. So, the answer is 0 0.2. So, multiply by 100 or move two decimal places to the right. So, that is equal to 20%. So, 4 is 20% of 20. Okay, next, example number 2. 5 is 25% of what number? So, let's identify first the given. So, 5 is the part and 25 is the rate. So, we are at, what is us in the problem? So, we are asked to find the number or the base. 
And since from the formula, we have R equals P over B. So, to find for B, we just cross multiply. So, we will get B equals P over R. So, substituting the value, we have 5 over rate is 25% or changing, we have to change that in decimal. And that is equal to 20. Okay? So, 5 is 25% of 20. Example 3, 15% of 60 is what number? So, let's identify first the given. 15% is the rate and 60 is the base. So, what is as in the problem? Okay, so the missing variable is P. So, from the formula, R equals P over B. So, to solve for P, multiply both sides by B. So, we will have P equals R times B. So, substituting the values, we have R equals 0.15, change P. 15% into decimal, then B is 60. So, using the calculator, the answer is 9. Okay? Application of changing percent to decimal or decimal 2% is the discount. So, during mall sales, we see 20%, 45%, 50%, and 60% discount from the mark price. People usually rush to buy items during sales during the, during a, during the reduction in price. Usually, a discount is expressed as a percent of the mark. The amount paid after the discount has been removed is called the sale price. Another application is the computation of commission. The amount of money paid to an employee for selling an item usually based on a certain percent upon by the seller and the owner is called commission. The amount of money turned over to the owner of the goods items after deducting the commission is called the net proceeds. So, let's have example. For example 1, a car dealer sold a brand new car for 650000 and was paid a commission of 2.25%. How much earnings did he get from his transaction? So, to get the commission, we will multiply 650,000 times 2.25%. So to multiply we have to change we have to 
rewrite this as a decimal. So, how are we going to do that? So, we can move two places to the left. So, 1, 2. That's 0 0.0225. Or divide using your calculator. Divide 2.25 by 100. So now we have 650,000 times 225. 0 0.0225, brother. So times 650,000. And that is equal to 14,625 pesos. So the commission is 14,625. Sample 2, Pia bought a blouse with a sale price of 600 37.60 peso on a 15 on a 15 percent discount during the last day sale period what is the mark price so first let x be equal to the mark price. And then, so we have this equation, 15% of x is 637.50. So, changing the percent to decimal, we have 0.15x equals 637.50. So, to eliminate the 0.15, divide both sides by 0.15. So, x is equal to, use your calculator to solve. That's equal to 750 pesos. Okay. Next. For example 3. A basketball player wants to buy a pair of Nike shoes worth 8,550. D at a 30% discount. What is the sale price? So there are two ways to solve the problem. So the first solution is get the 30% of 8,550 so, 30% of 8,550 and that will be equal to the discount. So, 0.30 times 8,550 equals... 2,565. So, this is the discount. So, to get the sale price, we will subtract the discount to 8,550. 8, Okay, so 
subtract it using your calculator. So, the answer is 5,985. And the other solution is So, for the other solution, since the discount is 30%, so we will get the 70% of 8,550. And that will be equal to the sale price. So, 0.70 times... 8,550 and that is equal to 5,985 okay so this kind of decimal is a repeating decimal so, first is to change it into fraction. First, we let x be equal to the fraction. So, 0 0.3333. So, we have to eliminate this part, the repeating. So, next step is multiply by 10 both sides of the equation. So, this side will be equal to 10x. And this side will be equal to 3.3333. So the bar sign class, it means that the number under the bar sign is infinitely repeating or non-terminating and repeating decimal. So, simplifying, we have to subtract the two equations. So, for this one, 10x minus x equals so, 3.333 minus 0 0.3333 So, 3.333 minus 0 0.333. So, on this part, we will have 9x. And on this part, 3.3333 minus 0 0.333. That's it. That is equal to 3. So, divide both sides by 9. That is equal to so, cancel. That's equal to 3 over 9 or 1 third. Okay. So, why did I teach you this repeating decimal class? Because in the calculator, you, can, you cannot easily change it by just pressing the calculator. Okay, so how about this one? So let 2.3131. So let, let x be equal to point. Three one, three one. Then, multiply the equation, multiply this by 100, so 100x. Why 100 class? Because 
there are two numbers here that are repeat that that are repeating. So point thirty one. So that to eliminate this, we have to multiply it by one hundred. Okay. So multiplying it by one hundred, we will have two hundred thirty one. Point three one three one. Yeah. Notice that if we subtract this two hundred thirty one minus two, so this part will be eliminated. So now let's subtract one hundred x minus x. That's ninety nine x equals two hundred thirty one point three one three one. Minus two point three one three one, so that is um two hundred twenty nine. Okay, so divide both sides by ninety nine. We will have two hundred twenty nine over. Ninety-nine. Okay, so that's it. So that's all for today. For our practice exercises, so you can find this one in your module. So try to answer this, or you can pause this video if you don't have the copy of your module. So you can pause the video and answer it, and then later I will reveal the answer. Use a calculator class in solving this. So I want you to be to get use of using the calculator in computations. Okay, so the answer is. This one. Okay. So that's all for today. So thank you for watching, and I hope you have learned something. So just click the like and sub subscribe to our channel. So bye.